1,429. That is how many days it's been since The Last of Us first released on PS3. With a release date of approximately four years ago, you would think we'd all have figured out everything there is to know about The Last of Us by now, right? Wrong. Here's 10 facts you didn't know about The Last of Us. Number 10. Bullet penetration is actually a thing in The Last of Us. It is possible to get a double kill with just one bullet. You just have to make sure your armor piercing and power are upgraded on your hunting rifle. Number 9. The logo that's on Ellie's shirt in The Last of Us is the same logo that can be found on the jet ski in Chapter 12 of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Number 8. In Pittsburgh, Joel and Ellie stumble upon old rusted cars with dead bodies scattered all over the ground. This is when the following dialogue takes place. Why would they mow down all these people? You can't let everyone in. <laughs> so they killed them? And dead people don't get infected. He sacrificed the few to save the many. It's kind of shitty. Yeah. You sacrifice the few to save the many is a recurring theme throughout the whole campaign of The Last of Us. In the prologue, Joel and Sarah are shot at to prevent the spread of the infection. They would be sacrificed in order to prevent the people who the military knew for certain were not infected. You sacrifice the few to save the many. This theme comes up yet again when Joel is told to sacrifice his daughter in order to develop a vaccine for the cordyceps virus. A vaccine? But it grows all over the brain. It does. Number 7. The Last of Us for PS3 and The Last of Us Remastered for PS4 has sold a combined total of over 11 million copies worldwide. Currently, that is more units sold than Uncharted 4. Number 6. In the winter chapter where Ellie is taking care of Joel, Ellie manages to get penicillin from David's group. She then runs back to the abandoned house where Joel is lying unconscious and saves his life with this penicillin. What's so interesting about that? Well, not so much interesting as it is ironic. You see, for those of you that don't know, penicillin is made from penicillium, a fungus. So in this fungal-driven post-apocalyptic world, a fungal-based antibiotic is the thing that saves Joel's life. Now, that is pretty funny if you ask me. Number five. As Joel and Ellie are driving to Pittsburgh, Ellie holds up a comic that she's enjoying and says, Okay, I know it doesn't look like it, but this here is not a bad read. Only one problem. Right there. To be continued. To be continued. Seems oddly familiar. Looks kind of like this scene. Please. But what I don't get is how could this Joel and Marlene scene be to be continued if Marlene is dead? Hmm, thoughts A-Team? And notice how before he shoots Marlene, the camera focuses on Joel's broken watch the whole time. There is some analyzing to do there, A-Team. That's coming soon in my The Last of Us ending analysis video. Number four, throughout the entire game of The Last of Us, no last name of any character is ever mentioned, except for one name, the Coopers. It's the Coopers. That is the only time in the entire game of The Last of Us that a character says a person's last name. Why are last names never mentioned after this? Here's one interpretation. So last names are used to help a society function, right? They aren't important for survival though, or killing or scavenging, things you need to do in the post-apocalyptic world. Therefore, with the Coopers being the last surname ever mentioned, it demonstrates that this is the beginning of the end to a normal society. Number three. In The Last of Us multiplayer, yes, The Last of Us has a multiplayer mode, guys. It's called Factions Multiplayer. You can actually see giraffes if you look at the window in the bus depot map. On the PS3 version of The Last of Us, though, there are actually no giraffes. If memory serves me right, Naughty Dog stated it was because of hardware and RAM limitations. But there are giraffes on the PS4 version. It's pretty cool, guys. Number two, speaking of giraffes, giraffes appear throughout the entire campaign of The Last of Us, not just at this iconic scene right here. What are you doing? It's all right. Come here. Come here. Hurry up. Come on. Hey there. <laughs> so fucking cool. Locations where these giraffes appear are as follows. 
behind the door in Sarah's bedroom in the Boston QZ just before the first encounter with Robert's men, in Billstown just past the doggy door, in the room where you first encounter Henry and Sam, in the toy store, in the sewers, in the ranch house, at Salt Lake City, and finally, in the pediatrics area of the hospital. Bonus fact, if you paid close attention, you would notice that when you saw a giraffe, you could almost always expect to find a child nearby. Hinting at a theme of innocence, giraffes equal innocence. We'll analyze all that in much more detail in my upcoming analysis video. Are you gonna do anything? You're just gonna stare at me? Just gonna stand there? What are you doing? Number one, if you explore Sarah's bedroom during the prologue, you'll notice that Sarah has a guitar as well as an amp in her room, implying that she plays guitar. If you go downstairs, you'll see that Joel has a guitar as well. Clearly, Joel and his daughter enjoy playing guitar. Now, as Joel and Ellie are walking along the highway that leads to the bus depot, Joel tells Ellie, Yeah, once we're done with this whole thing, I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. And what do you know? In the trailer of The Last of Us Part Two. She's playing a guitar, guys. Joel taught his daughter how to play, but that's not all. In the underground tunnel, after clearing out the infected, Joel promises Ellie one more thing. Watch your step. That water looks... Hey, that's what we can do once we're done. What's that? You can teach me how to swim. You got it. So maybe in The Last of Us Part 2, we won't have to push Ellie on the fucking pallet anymore, huh? Okay, A-Team, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you actually knew everything I mentioned or if you actually learned something. And if you like another 10 more fun facts about The Last of Us, leave a like or a comment to let me know. I'll honestly do it, A-Team. I've got so much to share about this game. And one more thing, if you're new, my channel is based all around The Last of Us and Uncharted 4. So if you like Naughty Dog and you like those games, I really think you'll enjoy all my content, A-Team. So make sure to subscribe to join the best team on YouTube, the A-Team. And with that being said, Keep on being awesome, A-Team, and I will see you all in the next one. Hey!